Killers from Space aka The Man Who Saved the Earth is a 1954 independently made American black and white science fiction film produced and directed by W. Lee Wilder, brother of Billy Wilder, that stars Peter Graves, Barbara Bestar, Frank Gersel, James C. and Steve Pendleton. The film originated as a commissioned screenplay from Wilder's son Miles Wilder and their regular collaborator William Rayner. Lee Wilder's production company, Planet Filmplays, usually producing on a financing for distribution basis for United Artists, wound up making this film for RKO Radio Pictures distribution. Topic. Plot Dr. Douglas Martin Peter Graves is a nuclear scientist working on atomic bomb tests. While collecting aerial data on a United States Air Force USAF atomic blast at Soledad Flats, he loses control of his aircraft and crashes. He appears to have survived, unhurt, walking back to the air base with no memory of what happened. On his chest is a strange scar that was not there before the crash. At the base hospital, Martin acts so strangely that the USAF brings in the FBI to investigate, thinking he might be an imposter. He is eventually cleared but told to take some time off. Martin protests being excluded from his project while on leave. When an atomic test is set off without his knowledge, Martin steals the data, then goes back to Soledad Flats and places the information under a stone. An FBI agent follows him, but Martin is able to elude him until he crashes his car. Now back at the hospital, he is given truth serum. Deep under the drug's influence, Martin tells a story about being held captive by space aliens, led by Denab, in their underground base. The aliens, with large, bulging eyes, are from the planet Astron Delta, ruled by a being called the Tala. They had revived his lifeless body as he had died in his aircraft. The aliens plan to exterminate humanity using giant insects and reptiles, grown with the radiation absorbed from our own atomic bomb tests. Martin intuits that the aliens use stolen electric grid power to control their powerful equipment. This so that the A-bombs released energy levels can be predicted and then balanced. The aliens wiped his memory and hypnotized him into collecting the data for them. The FBI agent Steve Pendleton and the base commander James C. are skeptical of this incredible story and keep him confined at the hospital. Nevertheless, the attending physician says that Martin genuinely believes that what he told them is true. With calculations made using a slide rule, Martin determines that if he shuts off the power to Soledad Flats for just 10 seconds, it will create an overload in the alien's equipment. So he escapes from the hospital and goes to the nearby electrical power plant, where he forces a technician to turn off the power. After 10 seconds, the alien base is destroyed in a massive explosion, saving the Earth from conquest. Topic: <coughs> Cast. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Production. 
Under the working title of The Man Who Saved the Earth, production took place from early to mid-July 1953 at KTTV Studios. Scenes featuring the cavern hideout of the aliens were shot in Bronson Canyon in Los Angeles. Reception Killers from Space was released as a B-movie, hampered by low production values and a minuscule budget. Film reviewer Thomas Scalzo also noted, "...Killers from Space is an enjoyable, if slow-going, sci-fi, horror diversion, and if these Killers from Space had somehow found a way to stop the yammering long enough to get on with some actual killing, the combination of Peter Graves, mutant insects and amphibians, a palpable atmosphere of 50s atomic fear, and the directorial efforts of Billy Wilder's brother, would have been enough to bump the film into the upper echelon of early sci-fi essentials." In 2006 skeptic Dr. Aaron Sekulich noted similarities between the film and many alien abduction stories that would first appear over a decade later, such as the medical testing done by the aliens, the protagonist's strange scar, his memory erasure, the aliens' giant eyes, and their way of mind control. See also Don't Ask Don't Tell, a comically redubbed version of this film. <laughs>